is Bishop Dr. Truman Burst. Masterlist. Uh, coming to you from Good Shepherd Ministries. Thank you for joining us. Uh, it, it, I'll praise you to the Most High. Oh, yes. So, does anyone have a question or a comment to start today off uh, on Discoveries in Health? If, if now's a good time, if you have a subject or a topic or something you would like us to discuss, uh, let us know what that is while we have all the microphones open at the moment. Dr. Burke, I have a question about the stuff that is in the air. This is Sharon uh, from Sacramento. Shalom yes. To everyone. Shalom. 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 Yes. I, I would like to... Um, I would like to, I'm always looking at, at these, um, you know, looking up more gelons and things of that sort. My skin is getting much better concern, concerning the shot that was given. <laughs> and um, that was about three and a half years ago. But I'm um, becoming concerned and I can see very clearly that this is in the air and everyone is infected. And my doctor told me once that uh, one of my doctors said that I got a double dose and I believe that's what happened with the shot. So it's probably more of whatever's in the air in that shot. But I'm wondering um, about pointers and, and more things that we can do. Um, I'm still want, I'm trying to get connected with uh, Sister Kashakia, who is just wonderful. And I've just been a little bit out of order in uh, some other areas, you know, that kind of take me away from our plan. But <coughs> give me Sister Kashakia, and I plan to call you back today. But... I just wondered if you could speak a little bit more on these Morgellons and the things that are happening to us in the air that we're all affected with, you know, and it seems to be a certain time of the day that these things are more concentrated in the air and uh, just, you know, what else we can do other than cover up and continue to, like the smart dust and all that stuff that's out, that's out amongst us and actually, you know, actually threatening our bodies and so forth. All right, we're talking about uh, uh, Morgellons, is that right? Yes, sir. Morgellons, so, uh, Morgellons disease, uh, a syndrome is a condition in which people have the delusional belief that they are infested with... Um, well, you know what? I've been reading about that, and now the U.S. is admitting that there is stuff in the air, and those people are not delusional, and they're not imagining things that are happening, that they are really, they, they have been happening, and actually they're starting to admit it in some of this, uh, these online videos and, and so forth, and actually saying that they've identified it through some of these movies that I'm sure that none of us want to see. I haven't seen any of those movies that they were talking about. And uh, it's just real strange that no one is actually, uh, we're not guarding ourselves from it because we're ignoring that it's happening. So, uh, so and, you know, I wondered if you could speak on that a little bit on what we could do to protect ourselves. All right. Okay. Right. That's right. Since since uh, 2006, and in the first initial phase after infection of Morgellons, M O R. G E L L O N S. Uh, in the it, again in the first initial phase after infection, diagnosis and recognition of of these filamentous organisms called Morgellons 
is very difficult uh, since generally there are only a few typical skin symptoms recognizable and the overall clinical picture usually pre presents at first similar to scabies. So it's misdiagnosed as scabies or some fungal infections as uh, Pterosporum folculotus or, or uh, Phaeocremonium uh, parasiticum or Cacodiodeus imitis uh, or some other dermatophytes and uh, protozoa infection as Pythium insidiosum uh, with similar symptoms. <clears throat> now, more exact microscopic investigations result in a clarity and are always compellingly necessary, therefore. It, it's, it's also always advisable <clears throat> if symptoms are lacking, if, dilt, if difficulty uh, making the correct diagnosis or recognition of the severity of the infestation, then one must receive a skin scraping, uh, you know, a biopsy uh, or, or mm -hmm. adhesive tape sampling, whatever results in, uh, in, in, in a better success in recognition of, of that infection and that, <clears throat> that disease. This should be especially mm -hmm. helpful, particularly uh, in uh, uh, this specimen sample that, that I'm talking about here and I have up on my screen uh, that you'll be able to see in a video uh, later because we're making an audio video and you're going to be able to see this report that, that I'm talking about. And, okay. and so, uh, so what we're talking about then <clears throat> is a, uh, uh, th that this should be especially helpful. Uh, when you can uh, get that external unusual fibrous matter easily seen under a microscope at 100 to 200 times magnif magnification. How, however, uh, one should know in addition that uh, one should know in addition that uh, one actually should do for which findings and what one must look for. If a, if, a, if a scraping or a withdrawal sample by needle brings a kind of colored fuzz, then that may be the only parasite that you will be able to, to, to recover and you should accept this uh, and, and, and further samples could be attempted uh, to uh, try more statistical significance in order to exclude coincidences uh, with cloth fabrics. To diagnose Morgellons as disease by antibodies might be difficult, but at least, uh, let, me, let me find out, I got an open mic here somewhere and I'm hearing somebody else, so let's see if we can uh, find that. Okay, we're, that's not getting me where I'm going. I'm trying to get here to this. Well, okay, let's go here. Then let's see if I can go over there. No, nope. where is, I, looks like I, oh, wait a minute, here we go. Uh, I'm going to have to mute a mic. That's kind of noisy. There we go. I'm finding it and muting some mics, leaving the one open in Sacramento. As we describe uh, for our guest in Sacramento, uh, uh, Sister uh, Hartwell, we are describing Morgellons more disease, and uh, <clears throat> it's a parasitic infection. Uh, sufferers show that the many are suffering from Lyme disease, so it's, it's easily confused uh, with Lyme's disease. And so is multiple sclerosis. 
uh, because it is caused by Lyme disease. And, uh, and so using a, the DNS standard test uh, by uh, means of uh, polymerase chain reaction, PCR, until uh, recently PCRs have been used as a good means for detection of many unidentified parasitical infections as well as their identification by means of certain customary blood tests like serodiagnostic. And uh, <clears throat> however, now some of these tests for the antigens of parasites have unfortunately become outdated because they are, they are, there are so many new strains and species of parasites, mm -hmm. and, and many parasites and antigens uh, were still not uh, isolated. So to cut to the chase here, what we need to do is we need to deal with this parasitic infection, and, 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 and we're looking at pictures here of it. We need to increase the immune system, and uh, so, so what we need to do here uh, besides, you can be looking at this report uh, later on a video, and it really breaks down um, what's going on here. There's just a lot of information about this. Uh, and now let's go look at what we can do about it. So now I'm going to go from here, uh, from this page, I'm going over to... Uh, uh, health, herbalhealthreview.com. And when I'm on herbalhealthreview.com, and please understand, I'm not diagnosing, I'm not prescribing. Uh, what we're doing here as, as, as a group is we're discussing uh, natural remedies. And uh, nobody's uh, prescribing or diagnosing here. Uh, so the FDA, uh, it, you know, you can be angry all you want that we are actually uh, talking about how, po how poisonous drugs are and how wonderful natural remedies are. And so all I can say to the FDA is live with it. And, and now we're going to go down and take a look at what we do with parasitic in, in, infections. Here is a parasite cleanse under the herbalhealthreview.com. And we click on that, and it really breaks down all kinds of things that are going on when you have a parasitic uh, infection going on. It talks about roundworms, tapeworms, uh, and the symptoms, and pinworms, <clears throat> hookworms. It talks about all these different types of worms and what the symptoms are. And then it, then it gets down to the Parasite cleanse, the 90-day parasite cleanse, where you're taking <clears throat> no red meat, no refined sugar, uh, no processed foods. Uh, you're eating organic. Uh, you're eating raw vegetables and fruits and nuts and seeds, and you're having wild-caught fish, if you want, or organic chicken or turkey. Uh, in your diet if, if you want, but it's mainly a whole food plant-based diet with uh, raw vegetables and fruits and, and seeds and nuts and grains and lots of water. And, uh, <clears throat> and then for 90 days, you're taking diatomaceous earth, number 4715. Uh, and, and if you want to know where to get it, you can get it from the Better BetterHealthHerbs.com, BetterHealthHerbs.com, um, or you can call them. Uh, you don't have to go on the website, BetterHealthHerbs.com. You, you can call uh, BetterHealthHerbs.com at the telephone number 541-791-8400. That's 541 Seven nine one eight four zero zero, and ask them for a pound of diatomaceous earth, number four seven one five. Or if you're looking at this report, 
you can click on diatomaceous earth number 4715 it will take you over to the various sizes and you can buy it if, if you would like to purchase it and and so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna click on that link all of these products if you click on them they take you over to where you can see the product okay diatomaceous earth is uh, is five dollars and twenty five cents for a half a pound or ten dollars and fifty cents for a whole pound so so that's what it is and I'm looking at it uh, uh, number 4715 now I'm going back over here so that's what so you're gonna take one to two teaspoons in juice water or a smoothie two times per day uh, and, and you're gonna do it before meals on an empty stomach okay and and then there's the para can parasite removal herbal liquid tincture number 1342 and you and you would take uh, 24 to 36 drops of para can parasite removal herbal tincture number 1342 24 to 36 drops three times per day in or with juice or water then you're going to get some pumpkin seed oil uh, because the green hull around a pumpkin seed is poison to a parasite so you're going to get some pumpkin seed oil number 2503 and you're going to take two or three soft gels of uh, pumpkin seed oil capsules uh, you're going to take two or three of them two times a day then we're going to clean out all of these parasites and anything else that's in the digestive tract we're going to make every bowel movement so soft it breaks up in a cloud which means the sewer system of the body is getting things through there fast enough to get rid of toxins poisons that you don't want and some parasites as well and that's that Truman's CAC colon and liver blood cleanser herbal liquid number 1078 number 1078 you add one to three tablespoons we start with one we're gentle we just want enough to make those bowel movements so soft when you flush the toilet it breaks up in a, in a cloud if one tablespoon is enough great it's the dose would be between one and three tablespoons always start by underdosing and find your dose of whatever you're taking so we were adding one to three tablespoons of number 1078 Truman CAC colon and liver blood cleanser uh, <clears throat> into a glass of water and that is flushing them flushing them out of your body at the same time you're taking an amino acid uh, a capsule that has arginine and ornithine and that's number 2322 and that helps to uh, discourage parasites in the body they don't like arginine and ornithine and it gives you extra energy to get rid of them and you're going to take of number 2322 2322 arginine and ornithine amino acid capsules you take one to six per day in divided uh, doses so if you're going to take six you take two three times a day and and, and so we're going to find out how much it takes start with one uh, three times a day okay then then we'll find out what your dosage is what's working for you and and then the next thing on this list is the Truman's special fiber with bentonite clay number 4837 now that product when you, that is like a sponge and a magnet because if the the psyllium husk and all the green foods and nutrients in there uh, it's going to give you energy and and it and it's going to act like a big sponge going through your digestive tract 
And then the clay, the bentonite clay, is acting like a magnet. And it's drawing toxins, poisons to it and holding them so you don't reabsorb anything. So you're not going to get a cleansing headache or any symptoms. It's going to be your sponge and magnet and you're taking anywhere from one uh, a, a teaspoon or a tablespoon uh, once or twice daily in, 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 in juice and or a blender drink. That's the number 4837, Truman Special Fiber with bentonite clay. Anyway, one uh, a teaspoon to uh, two or three tablespoons of that, and that will absorb the toxins and that you're trying to get rid of and help those parasites to leave the body. We're additionally, we're going to use some turmeric root. Turmeric root number 3890 is anti-inflammatory. So it's going to keep the inflammation down so that you aren't sore from getting rid of these things or any other inflammation that may be caused while you're getting rid of them. The turmeric root is going to do that. And remember, turmeric root crosses the blood-brain barrier and goes into the brain and makes you smarter. That's one of the things. It reduces inflammation and also increases intelligence, and that's turmeric root. And you're going to take about 30 to 60 drops three or more times a day, and, and, and there you go, turmeric root, number 3890. Okay, a couple more things and we're done, and that is you want to make sure that you're taking some enzymes to break your food down and digest it. And we're going to be digesting and getting rid of some of these parasites with these super enzymes, number 2589. You're going to take three or four capsules per day. Take it, take them, if you're going to take four capsules, uh, take uh, uh, two at, with your main meal at, at lunch, uh, and two again uh, with your main meal uh, at dinner, so that you're uh, eating your heaviest meals and taking digestive enzymes to make sure you're breaking it all down and getting rid of them, okay, and, and absorbing it and so forth. Now, the nice bones is the state-of-the-art calcium and magnesium, uh, number 2455, number 2455, and you're going to take about three tablets at bedtime. Um, you can take up to four tablets at bedtime if you're a large person, but a small person would take about three caps, uh, tablets at bedtime of calcium and magnesium. Say goodbye any cramping because that's one of the things that it gets rid of is night cramps when you do that. Also helps uh, to keep the bones healthy and stronger. And that's it. We're going to make sure that we're going to drink 64 ounces of water a day so we can flush them out because you can't flush them out of the body if you don't drink enough water. So we need, need about 64 ounces of water. And remember, when doing a cleanse or a detox, people have been known to have flu-like symptoms uh, for a couple of days. This is normal. The toxins and parasites are dying and they're being flushed from your system. So, so you want to push through that and uh, But with that uh, uh, special fiber with bentonite clay, that should take care of a lot of it, and you should have very little of those type of symptoms. Uh, that's why we do the cleansing with the, with the uh, fiber and the bentonite clay. And that is, and that is how I would deal with Margellans. Did, okay, uh, Sister Hartwell. Okay, thank you so much, Dr. Burst. I, I, ha I have everything that you mentioned. Darn near is what, I, what I've been doing, which is great. I just thought it would be nice, it would be uh, great to talk about it because a, a lot, all of us are really infected with the stuff going on in the air. Uh, I didn't have down the bentonite. I've been out of that for some time, so I will be sure and uh, and try to pick some of that up. Great. I'll try to get that from you, the 4837. But most everything else you said, I've been doing, and uh, I feel much better. They haven't diagnosed me as for, for Morgellons or anything like that, but 
as I've been studying, you know, my situation, it seems that a lot of us are infected and we really don't know what to do. You know, half of us are unaware. Yes, well, about 90% of the population is infected with one kind of a parasite or another. 90%. So, uh, and, and if you eat red meat, you got about a 99% chance. So thank you for bringing that up because that's that's an important topic. Parasites are a huge problem globally. And going through a parasite cleanse, you might be surprised what hitchhikers uh, have uh, that are hitching a ride with you. Okay, so that 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 answers that question. If you have a question or a comment, you can press the star key on your telephone two times and ask your question or make your comment. Uh, we welcome uh, your questions and your comments. So uh, now would be a good time. If you have a question or a comment, press your star key two times and ask that question or make your comment, please. How are you doing, Dr. Truman? This is Ron Woods. Ah, yes, Brother Woods. Uh, you know, I, I'm sorry uh, that, uh, you, you're, that you haven't gotten back or, or, or that Brittany uh, hasn't gotten uh, back to you. Uh, but uh, I, I, pa I passed that message on. She has been really under a lot of pressure uh, with the FDA demanding uh, all of her time to create report after report after report, uh, you know, acting as though she's some kind of a huge multiple billion dollar company. And so they're coming in and, and they make her do all these reports. And here she is. She's, you know, just got a few people there helping her uh, to uh, ma manufacture all these remedies and help everybody and then deal with the FDA. That's probably what's slowing her down. But I did forward your email to her and, and I know she will get back with you. OK. That's great. Uh, I, I was calling uh, for that, of course. And also I wanted to ask. If someone has a lot of uh, information soreness uh, uh, up there a few few years older than than me or you know uh, and uh, stiffness in the joint, uh, what can what can be done to get rid of all this inflammation? Okay, stiffness is stiffness in the joints. Okay, let, let me uh, tell this one person who's trying to call me right now, and I'm gonna I'll, I'll describe that. But uh, right now we are live uh, on, uh, you know, on the Uber conference and you can join that Uber conference uh, and ask your question or comment um, if you dial the telephone number uh, and that number is 503-606-6000. Six zero six four. So please join us there. I, I can't take your telephone call now, but you can call that number, and I'll be glad to answer your question there uh, in the live conference. Five zero three six zero six six zero six four. Thank you. And now talking about stiff joints. That would be a formula. That would be a formula. Number. I'm going to go over to the BetterHealthHerbs.com website. I'm 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 just about there. Now I'm there. I'm clicking on visit our online store. Now I'm going over to the to the quick find box, and I'm going to type in the number one zero four three, and I'm going to. Click on that, and it's going to bring up. It's going to bring up number 1043, which is joint care. I'm clicking on joint care, and and that is a very amazing formula. Uh, it has 68 different herbs in it. It took me over seven years to create 
this formulation and balance it out. And it wasn't until I put all of my uh, cancer herbs into that formula that it unlocked everything and, uh, which was designed for arthritis, for rheumatism, sore muscles, stiff muscles, uh, lupus, you name it. If it's affecting your muscles or your joints, you want to know about formula number 1043. Because, I, because until I developed this formula about eight or nine months ago, I was in an automobile accident where a young man rear-ended my car so hard that it wound up, I had to have my neck spliced together in three places, five, six, and seven, are all spliced together because this guy hit, hit me so hard, it just absolutely ki almost killed me. And But I walked away and worked for two years trying to figure out what herbs and what I could do about it and finally come to the conclusion until I, I got my neck spliced together again, uh, I wasn't going to get rid of the pain. So then after they spliced my neck back together again with bone, then, then I arthritis set in. And then I had more pain than ever. I couldn't lift my hand over my head. And, and I couldn't comb my hair. Uh, I, I couldn't work out anymore. Uh, and my muscles ached all the time, day and night. And so I started working on this formula and it, and it was pretty good, it worked pretty good, and, but it finally, after, after seven years, I finally was able to get it just right. It took all my pain away. I, I hold a teaspoon in my mouth and I let, it, I let it dissolve slowly under my tongue, through my cheeks for about three or four or five minutes. I get all of these herbs. It relieves the pain and inflammation and cleans the bloodstream. And all of a sudden, uh, sometimes I have to take two or three doses consecutively every five or 10 minutes. And then all the pain went away. All of it went away. And it happened the, the second or the third time that I used it. And then it worked so well that I forget to take it. it my, my, the pain didn't come back. I expected it to come back. It didn't come back. And I can do anything I want now. I can work out with weights. I can lift my hands over my head. I, I you know, I got my muscles back. I got, you know, I, I've got my 25 year old body back again. So, and I'm 75, so that's pretty good. Anyway, that's it. Number 1043 is your answer, sir. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that, doctor. I'm going to check into that. Okay, 1043. One teaspoon, uh, wait, hold it in your mouth for three or four minutes. And if that doesn't take all the pain away, do it again. You can do it up to three or four doses. No one has gone beyond four doses. And everyone who's ever tried it has told me that it was the most incredible thing that ever happened to them uh, because they were suffering with uh, aches and pains and stiffness uh, uh, for years and years and years. And it's all gone. So if you have a question or a comment, please press the star key two times and ask your question. Make your comment. What what would you like me to talk about next? What would you like to hear about? Uh, we don't prescribe or diagnose. We simply praise the Most High and share the latest research about natural remedies. What's working? If you have a question, please ask it now. Press your star key two times, and you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to unmute your mic. Okay, there are no other questions at the moment. So, while we're waiting, go ahead. Did you have a question? Yes. I was recently diagnosed with breast cancer in my left breast, 
And I was wondering, what can I do naturally to help with the healing? Okay, when there is breast cancer, we're going back over to the uh, betterhealthherbs.com. We're going back, no, actually we're going to go to Herbal Health Review. We're on the herbalhealthreview.com website. We're clicking on common conditions. And we're looking now at, at the common condition reports and we're scrolling down and going to breast and all cancer. And here is how people are dealing with uh, breast and all cancers. Uh, with the, the, we're looking at this report and I'm waiting for it to come up. Now I'm looking at it. And, 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 and one of the things Sister Kashakia uh, can tell you about is Morinda Noni. Uh, she uh, uh, was fighting uh, a cancer and when in, and she even tried a little chemo uh, and, 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 and so forth. Uh, but uh, she all of a sudden the, the Lord came upon her and directed her to use uh, Morinda Noni juice. And she did. And she doesn't have cancer anymore. She's a cancer survivor. We will be talking with her in approximately 20 minutes. And uh, so that's how she uh, got rid of her cancer. Now, there are other things you can do besides Marinda Noni and, and, and uh, uh, getting that from BetterHealthHerbs.com. There's a Make Lifestyle Changes report. That's one of the, that's a whole nother report within the breast and all cancer report on herbalhealthreview.com under breast and all cancers. You'll see uh, several reports within this report. One of them is make lifestyle changes. That's going to give you a roadmap of what to eat and when to eat and how to eat it and all kinds of wonderful recipes. And it is that, and, and it's all based on the world famous, uh, proven the best uh, natural diet. It's the whole food plant based diet. The whole food plant based diet. And it gives you recipes and everything. And it's all in the Make Lifestyle Changes. Now, below that, it talks about colloidal silver water. And with colloidal silver water, uh, we are going to take, uh, we're going to take that uh, and, and we're going to take plenty of it because it's a natural, safe antibiotic. Now, if you took it every single day for, for months and months, you're going to turn blue. But remember, uh, it's non-toxic, so it's going to turn you blue, but then you would use some heavy metal detox you know, coriander and chlorella and garlic uh, and, and those kinds of herbs are going to going to uh, pull all of the uh, silver, even though it's non-toxic, will pull it out of your body if you get too much. <coughs> okay, just a moment while I get a drink of water here. I can only talk so long and I gotta have I gotta have a drink of water with lemon in it. Mmm. Okay, that helped. Now, <clears throat> so we're talking about colloidal silver water. First, we talked about make lifestyle changes. That's really gonna put you on the right road to what's really working. Uh, <clears throat> and and then you're taking colloidal silver water. And don't buy the water. The water is $60 for 32 ounces. <clears throat> you can make it yourself with a portable generator about the size of a deck of cards. Anywhere you go, you can take it with you and you can make colloidal silver water for 25 cents a quart 25 cents instead of 60 dollars with this little box that is guaranteed for life 
It'll never, you'll have it, you'll have it decades from now. I've had mine for <clears throat> over 25 years, and that's because I invented it. So you have this uh, colloidal silver water generator, and you make colloidal silver water, and you drink it uh, for 10 days, day and night. Now, you're not going to turn blue by drinking it day and night for 10 days. Maybe for 100 days or 90 days, you're going to start turning blue. But 10 days, no, all you're going to do is those sub-microscopic particles of silver that are floating in that water, <clears throat> that are carrying an electric charge, are going to attach themselves to funguses, viruses, uh, uh, and any kind of a pathogen and disable the cell. They penetrate the cell and disable the oxygen. And the cell dies and never builds up an, immune, uh, an immunity. It's not like a poison chemical drug that builds up in your body and makes you sick and destroys all the, all the good guys and all the bad guys. It, it, no, it's not like that. It's not, not like a chemical. This is natural. It's nature. And that's what silver in, uh, in colloidal suspension in distilled water that you can make every 10 minutes one quart for 25 cents and you drink, uh, oh, maybe <clears throat> two quarts a day, uh, 64 ounces of colloidal silver water for 10 days. If you're thirsty at night, Drink colloidal silver water for 10 days. And we're going to do it only for 10 days at the end of 10 days. Then you go back to drinking water that has minerals in it. Uh, and, <clears throat> and you're uh, taking acidophilus powder, number 4675, because the acidophilus powder uh, is going to Keep your friendly bacteria strong so your digestion is good, so that you've got plenty of friendly bacteria in your stomach. Now you've got a healthy gut, and that's what it takes to do it. Most people do not have enough acidophilus friendly bacteria in their stomach. I take a half a teaspoon of this acidophilus powder every morning. I got the strongest, healthiest digestion. I can eat anything I want, anytime I want, but I know better. You know, I, I don't I eat certain things. I eat things that, I, I don't eat what maybe that I would want to eat. I eat what my body wants. And that's a whole food, plant-based diet. <clears throat> so that's how to use the colloidal silver water. We're going to go for 10 days. We're going to do a cleanse. And then we're going to set it aside. And you're not going to use the colloidal silver water unless you come down with a cold, a flu, a virus. Uh, then, yeah, then you're going to go back on the colloidal silver water. And, 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 and as soon as you're over it, you're going to go back on the acidophilus. And that's something that the doctors aren't doing they are poisoning people with, uh, with antibiotics that are made from chemical drugs your body doesn't recognize. Uh, and, uh, and then they don't tell you about the acidophilus uh, that you should be taking afterwards. Or they might tell you to eat yogurt. You know, like, you, like, you know that, that's a bad form. That, that's dairy. Uh, and, and, and a lot of people don't do well and it clogs them up to eat dairy. So let's, you know, dairy is not a good food. Every, any country that has, did not have dairy and dairy was introduced in that country, uh, they learned that those people got sick. They started becoming ill. Uh, so dairy is, uh, is something that if you do well with it, then enjoy a little bit of it but not a lot, okay? Uh, and the next thing that's on this report of breast and all cancer is an acid alkaline food chart. 
<clears throat> because cancer doesn't like al doesn't like alkaline foods. It loves acid foods, and if you drink, uh, you know, if, if if you're driving the body acidic, then you are feeding cancer. If you're eating acid forming foods, and here's a chart that tells you which foods are acid, which foods are alkaline, so that you can choose alkaline foods and and starve the body of acids. Sugar is an acid. Sugar feeds cancer. And so uh, we so that's a nice to have a acid alkaline food chart so you can